this section we demonstrate about two new models added to ArcGIS.learn, BDCN and HED. BDCN is bidirectional cascaded edge detection and HED is holistically nested edge detection. So we will be using these two models to extract parcels from imagery as a use case. As shown on the screen, you could see that these are the extracted parcels that you see overlapping in a binary raster. The binary raster is a predicted raster that the model has predicted. Then we use a model built using model builder in ArcGIS Pro to extract these overlapping polygons of parcels, commonly the land parcels. So let's go to a notebook and see how these models could be used to extract land parcels from imagery. So as we know, high variation remote sensing imagery provide a great amount of special information for dark animation. But we currently do as it is a manual processing, which is very time consuming. So the aim of this use is to make use of ArcGIS.learn edge detection models to create an automated and more efficient workflow of cadastral mapping. So here the yellow polygons you see are the training pair data that we use for our model. So first thing is our necessary imports in getting connected to ArcGIS. So our necessary imports are the BDCN edge detector and HAD edge detector and prepare data that we import from ArcGIS.learn. Then we get connected to our GIS to train our model we have to export training data. So let's go to ArcGIS Pro. In ArcGIS Pro, we have a tool called Export Training Data for Deep Learning that we use to export data for our models. So the all things remain the same. Where we give our input raster, we give our output folder, we give our input feature class or the label, which are the polyline feature class, then we give the class value, then we give the image format, then give the metadata format, which is a classified tile type as we want labels of binary type in which one should be for edges and zero should be for background and in the environment we have to give a cell size 0 0.2 this, this should be used in during the classified pixels or inferencing phase so let's go to our notebook so if our training data is exported we could directly give the path to our data to our prepared data then the data will be prepared using those images and labels. We could also visualize samples uh, or sample from our training data using data.showbatch. How you could see the imagery and its respective label. The green lines you see are the partial boundaries. I have used BDCN in this notebook but you could also use HDH detector. We load the model with the data then we fine tune our model to find the optimal learning rate. We use the suggested learning rate to fit our model. We use the optimal learning data to fit our model for about 800 epochs. We continuously monitor the accuracy and inference scores and as per requirement it could be stopped and saved when we plot our losses to see how the model is performing on training and validation data. So we then visualize the results on our validation data. Here you could see the model has figured out the edges or boundaries of the various locations. So we have a parameter where we have thinning. Thinning is a post-processing part. We have set to it false as we will be doing post-processing in ArcGIS Pro. Then we save the model. Then we could also load the model using dot load. Then we compute the matrices using compute precision recall. After that, we could deploy the model and delineate boundaries and extract parcels in a straight scale. So let's go to Pro for inferencing. So in Pro, we have classified pixels using deep learning that we use for inferencing. So we will be using classified pixels for using deep learning to inference on large raster. So we will be giving our input raster that we want to predict on. Then we give the output classified raster, give it the model definition file and the cell size that we have used during our export phase. This will give us a binary raster that you see. This is the binary raster with boundaries is 255 and background is 0. Then we use the post processing workflow that we built using the model builder in ArcGIS Pro to get our final parcel polygons. So we give our input predicted raster. After that, we run it and we will finally get the polygons. Or well, you could see the model has extracted parcel polygons from the raw imagery.
This type of workflow could be very helpful to make the cadastral mapping more efficient and cost effective. Thank you.